Well, the New York Attorney General filing a lawsuit against ExxonMobil accusing the multi-billion dollar oil and gas company of defrauding its investors by downplaying the financial risk of climate change to its business. The New York AG calling out former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson personally, saying that, quote, the alleged fraud reached highest levels as former ExxonMobil chairman and CEO Rex Tillerson knew of misrepresentation for years. To our panel for reaction, Steve, is this a political witch hunt? Is that what this is? This is stale bread. Uh, several of state attorneys general have tried to uh, do this suit several years ago, fell on its face because they had nothing there. So uh, she's desperate. She should get somebody on her staff who can get something uh, up to date instead of uh, yesterday's uh, fish. It's but extortion. You, 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 it's know, you know how these big corporations are, though, Liz. They, they, they usually fold like a cheap suit, I mean, rather than fight the thing. What do you think is going to happen? I hope they do fight it because this, obviously, this opens the door to similar lawsuits against every energy producer in America. No energy producer has yet come forward and said, oh, you're right, climate change is a big problem. We can see they're going to put us out, to, out of business 50 years from now, so we'll give away our reserves. I mean, honestly, all they want is money and publicity, and this yeah. is a kind of yeah. program that someone's going to build her career and on. To codify climate change is somehow, you know, part of, of the law. I mean, right. David, this lawsuit is, right. first of all, this lawsuit wasn't uh, uh, filed by an investor, not a disgruntled investor, as you pointed out, by the state of New York, by the attorneys general. <laughs> and you know, and, they, and, and they're charging ExxonMobil, David, a successful private company, with downplaying the effects of climate change. It's almost all like right. saying, you know, when did you it's, stop raping your wife? Completely unacceptable. It's a, it's a and, little ridiculous. Like, like, no one has ever caught a whiff of car exhaust. And said, oh, that smells pretty good for the environment. Let's not worry about that at all. But look, yeah, not what Exxon Republicans was control every branch of government. Democrats have no power except in New York. So they're throwing a tantrum and suing Exxon. This is what we do in New York. Come on. But is it it's possible? I mean, is it to Jonathan's point? I'm wondering if it's possible to disagree with somebody on climate change, on individual issues of climate change without being hauled into court. I mean, that's a dangerous right. thing, isn't it? And, like, how long do we want these 10Ks to get where you have to explain every risk, including, like, you got to go into global I mean, warming and, and you got to I mean, yeah. And, and what an insult, an unbelievable insult to their investors that you didn't know that a co an oil company was somehow involved in fossil fuels? Well, how, 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 how about, how, how about uh, suing the Attorney General of New York for raising our electricity rates? If we don't have oil and gas, uh, one, we won't have electricity, and two, what we get is going to cost ten times what we have today. In Germany, they pay two to three times for the electricity because of their reliance on alternative fuels. So let's sue them. And By the way, they have this, they have this thing called the Martin Act, which is what the Attorney General, the Barbara Underwood is her name, the new Attorney General of New York, she's using the Martin Act as this, as this amazing uh, cudgel to smash anything she wants. It gives her enormous power to investigate just about anything about a company. Uh, I don't know if this is such a good act. But, but also, yeah. let's consider that so far climate change has not had the slightest impact on ExxonMobil, and it probably won't for another 10 or 20 years. So, I mean, the actually, Exxon ExxonMobil has gone out of its way to do research on alternative energy. They've made big investments in alternative energy. I think this is just baloney. And, and, and the <laughs> truth is, the more fossil fuels we've used, the better everyone's life have gotten. I mean, a lot of these regulators and legislators, I mean, of course, it's the Greens behind them, they would have you believe that somehow, you know, ExxonMobil is, you know, screwing up the world. People's lives have gotten better the more fossil fuels they lose, they use. So the fact that they're going after ExxonMobil, this is a witch. You know, Jonathan, this truly why you might not be here the next segment? because I think the attorney general is going to come in and handcuff you and drag you away to, to the nearest prison. And we wouldn't have whales if we didn't have Exxon. That's it. How's that, Steve? <laughs> because whale oil used to be a big source of that energy. Is so right. true. That is so it came true. along. It's like Greenpeace. That's Only right. more profitable. Very interesting. All right. A lot of effects on these changes. Thank you, folks.